It is a great and beautiful day and God is good. He is so good. Let me tell you. Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful day, which I will be glad and rejoice in. Second Corinthians verses 9 and 10 says, and he said to me, and these words are in red. The Lord's word. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So when I am weak, I am strong. When I am weak, God is made strong. And you would think to yourself, but who enjoys going through these things? Who enjoys trials and tribulations? Who enjoys pains and long suffering? Who enjoys being afflicted, having adversaries, enemies, oppressors? Who enjoys these things? You should. Boy, you should, you should, you should. Woman of God, you should, you should, you should. Man of God, you should, you should, you should. Because... Had it not been for our enemies, had it not been that God allowed our enemies to come up against us, we would not be who we are, where we are, have what we have, or do what we do. It is for the glory of God, the grace of God, that we have been through these things. If our enemies had not come up against us, we would not have been praying so much. We would have been comfortable and content where we were at. But because our enemies had risen up against us, has still risen up against us, we pray more and more. Our relationships grow. We become stronger in Christ and build our relationships with God. We turn to God more. We depend on God more. We are stronger, not just physically, but spiritually because our enemies come up against us. So I thank them. I am so thankful for had they not, I would have been content. I would have stayed where I was at. I would not have grown spiritually. I wouldn't be doing the things that I am doing. I wouldn't be any stronger. Thank God that they have come up against you. It pushes you to pray more. It causes you to grow more. Thank these people for doing the things that they are doing. For in them causing you distress, you become stronger. God builds you up. You are more powerful. God is more powerful. And to God be the glory. Thank your enemies. For it causes you to be delivered into God's hand. And then turn around and pray for your enemies. And that is exactly why. Pray for them to be delivered into God's hand because it caused, they caused you to be delivered into God's hand. So I know you may not feel the need to pray for someone who is coming up against you, but because they came up against you, you were delivered into God's hand and they deserve the same. Turn around and pray for them to be delivered into God's hand. They caused you to be so. They caused you to be delivered and you ought to do the same for them. Turn around and pray for them and ask God to deliver them as well. Pray for your enemies. Be thankful for your enemies, adversaries, and oppressors. Be thankful through your trials and tribulations. Praise God through it all. Glory be to God.